the cello. Oh, what a wonderful instrument this instrument is. So we're gonna talk about the strings of the cello. You're starting cello, right? This is your first few weeks, maybe, of cello. And we're gonna talk about this little string on the top. This is an A string, and this one below, it's called the D string. D, A, D. If I take my finger, and then we ought to talk about fingers, because my thumb's gonna go underneath this. It's gonna go underneath the neck of this. And my this is considered my first finger, so this is my first, second, third, and fourth. You're gonna primarily use, be using first, second, and third a lot. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna pluck my D string, and then I'm gonna find my E string, my E. So once I put my finger down, it raises the pitch to E, and you ought to explore. Just take your finger and explore, and, and listen to what happens when you do that. skip one of the notes. There's a note here and I'm going to go to F, D, E, F sharp, and G. Now when I place my fingers down, G, E, there's a note called F next to it, F sharp, and then G. And this is called first position. D, E, F, D, D, E, E, F, G, F sharp, E, D, E, some tapes on your cello. I have a few dots left on mine. Most of them have fallen off. D, E, E, F, F sharp, G. You want to know those. You want to pluck those over and over. Try looking around the room while you do it. Try not to push hard on your thumb, which is hard because fingers are probably weak when you first start this instrument. Your thumb is pretty close to right underneath this finger right here. So anyway, D, E, E, F, F sharp, G. Right? And get you ready for twinkles. The next string up after the fourth finger, right here, on G is an A. Now if I push that, after A comes a B in the music alphabet, A, B, C, C sharp, and D. So we're going up a scale. In music we have these following letters, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Now between those are sometimes um, sharps or flats, but you're gonna primarily worry about E, F sharp, G, A, B. This is called the D major scale. So I'm skipping the second finger note, and I'm going to the third, and I'm going up to G. Remember, we're going to practice doing that without looking at our fingers. We look around the room. Okay, now I'm going to go explore up to the next string, A, and then I'm going to put my finger, one, right above where I had it before on this string. I'm going to go up to the A string, and I'm going to skip this next note and go to... So I'm using one, open, one, three, four, one, open, one, three, four, open, one, three, four, open, one, three, four, open, one, three. This is your D major scale. You notice I'm just plucking with my fingers. This is the foundation for learning how to play twinkles. Because you're going to be going. advise you to buy at Music Teacher Lessons. They're the only ones that have a dry ice cello board. And I encourage you. So what I played just barely was a D. It was found on this space right here. And in your music, on page six, they're showing you this D. See the D right here? This is on the, this note is written on the third line. Kind of looks complex, doesn't it, on that music? All those different ways they've written the D. 
But for now, we're just gonna talk and make it really simple. So here's your D, and it, once you climb, I'm gonna go to what I call a space note. So D's on this line, D, E, F. So you remember how I said the music alphabet starts with A, B, C, D, E, F, G, it starts over. We're starting on D, E, we're gonna go to F sharp, which is marked like that, and then G, and then we're gonna keep climbing. After G, there aren't any H's, so we start over with A, B, it's on a space. Now we're at a line, so I've gotta add a little line here, and that is sharping the C, and then you're gonna go up to D. So this is the D major scale. D, E, F sharp, G, A, B, C sharp, and D. That's your D major scale. If you learn this scale really well, you're gonna be able to learn how to play twinkles. Because twinkles, all twinkles use are the notes of the scale. So twinkles going D, D, A, a, B, B, A, G, G, F sharp, F sharp, E, E, and back down to D. So that's the notes of the scale. So that's your first, second lesson of cello. Your teacher can help you more for sure. And this is in book volume one. This is page six, six and seven, your D major scale. Work hard on that. Try to learn how to play it in tune. Try to do play the scale without looking at your fingers. And remember to, to remember your fingers are one, two, three, four, and your thumb is underneath. And I hope you have fun with cello. And I strongly encourage you to buy this board. If you really want to be a cellist, you're going to need this board. And it's bought, you can buy it at musicteacherlessons.com. It's the only cello board out there that's dry erased. And it has so many other features that I'll tell you about later.